When you hate advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right, Kelly, you got this one? Yep, got a message. Hey, guys, I heard you were wanting people who got an inappropriate gift from unexpected sources, and I've got a doozy. All right. I work from home. My husband works downtown. I heard the dog going nuts about midday. And I look out the front door to find a box with a red bow on it and a tag that had my name on it. All right. The card inside said, I thought you'd look good in this from Bo. Bo is my husband's best friend. Oh. We've known each other since middle school. And inside the box was this, like, skimpy lingerie set. Okay. So I was confused about why the heck he would give this to me and thought it was kind of wildly inappropriate But I had heard that he and his girlfriend had just broken up and maybe he bought it for her and couldn't return it. Hmm. Or is he like making a pass at me? I would find that hard to believe because he's like my brother. Yeah. Either way, I don't know if I should be honest with my husband about where it came from. I've kind of kept it hidden until I figure out what to do. A part of me is just like, well, why don't I wear it and just say I bought it to surprise my husband? What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I mean... I, I, at first, I was just like, well, I think she should just like show it to her husband and be like, uh, so I got this from Bo. What's up with that? Like, oh, and, see, and, the, and almost the like, only dangerous thing with that is what if that like causes a rift between her husband and his buddy? They've been friends since middle school. And sell that script to a movie theater. Oh, see now? <laughs> I, I, I don't know that. I'm almost like team, let's wear it and oh. surprise him and be like, I bought this for you. Yeah. And then just pray that All right, well. Bo doesn't ask, like, hey, did you like the gift? <laughs> right. <laughs> or uh, that he doesn't ask her husband, hey, did you like the gift? Yeah, right. Uh, man, I like, yeah, I, I don't know. I I think, yeah, I guess I guess we're on different ends there so i i don't know what what do you think 502-571-9970 um it's and then if you've got any sort of examples of being in the same situation i think yeah. that might even help her our listener figure it I out too like she could also like i i think this it would make sense if she reached out to Bo and been like hey um i was a little confused about your gift yeah and then just see what he says. All right, 502-571-997, your significant other. Yeah, this is the situation our listener found herself in when she found a box from their good friend since middle school that mm. had some lingerie in it. And she's like, um, what do I do with this? And a lot of people are just like, listen, why are you even questioning uh, telling your husband, you should tell your husband. And I think, you know, she's trying to maybe in her mind protect their friend in case there is some sort of inappropriate motives. Yeah. And it. Elizabeth and Tanya are on the phone and um, they, they have kind of differing opinions, kind of highlighting both of what you said. And then after that, I've got two other examples of those inappropriate gifts. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. All right, Elizabeth, first off, what should she do? So she most definitely should have just told her husband to begin with. Mm -hmm. Um, If she's been friends with this guy since middle school and her husband knows him, that's kind of wonky. Like, why would he give it to her in the first place? And keeping something from your husband, like, that's supposed to be your best friend. Like, you just, you tell them everything, and this shouldn't be any different. Seems simple, right? It does. Yeah. It, it, I mean, she's overthinking it. You just tell him. And even if she's waited, like, she can even tell him, hey, I've I've been on the fence on what I should do. And, you know, this is this is what happened. Can you have a talk with him and go from there? That's Elizabeth, good. thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Tanya. So what's your thought on this? Um, I think she needs to ask Bo. She needs sometimes... I think he might think he's in love with her because it's his best friend's wife Mm. and he's a little lonely. And I I think she needs to say, hey, what what is this? Um, Very inappropriate. Not okay. Um, We'll just leave this between us. Um, Please don't do it again. So you're you're going the more secretive route. All right, Tanya. Not not so much secretive, but just like... her husband and he have been best friends yeah. since grade school or middle school. 
I wouldn't want to cause a, a weak moment of him being lonely, just broke up with his girlfriend, thinking that he's in love with someone else when really it's just a deep friendship and it, it's misplaced love where that messes up an entire lifetime of a friendship oh, where she gotcha. just needs to say, you know, no, you're not in love with me. You, you, you're just uh, a, a little misplaced right now. <laughs> <laughs> misplaced. That's All it. right, Tanya, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, see ya. Yeah, a lot of people uh, texting. Katrina said maybe he was trying to help his buddy out. I would have left it on the table for my husband to find and then ask Bo what was up with it. You all are that good of friends. There should be no reason that you and or your husband don't just ask him. I mean, there are movies made about this very thing. Okay. My best friend's are. wedding. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are there are there are movies made about this. So it's like this happens. Now, listen, Joella said, is it possible your husband is in on it because he thinks it's funny? Either way, you need to have a discussion. I uh, got a message from a listener who said, my boss gave me a coffee mug that was filled with chocolate hearts. That wasn't so bad. Right. It, it was the thinking of you, he wrote with it, along with his name, that sent it over the top for me. Um, and that, yeah. that's all we got from her. Um, and then <laughs> this one from a listener. Uh, I've gotten lingerie from a boss before. <gasps> that was awkward. <laughs> Yes. She continues, I was newly single before Valentine's Day, and a little present was left on my desk with a note to open at home. There was no other indication of uh, uh, on the present as to who it was from. I was thinking, secret admirer. Yay! <laughs> but then I opened it at home, saw the lingerie, along with a note from my married boss. Oh gosh. That said something like thinking you'd look great in this. Oh no, that's literally what was written on the note that our listener got just now. Uh she then said, I said nothing but quit a week later. Okay. All right. Probably best. Because even if she did like confront that, she is well, that was destined her way of, for so a lot of awkwardness yeah, in the workplace. Yeah, I mean that was her way of confronting it. I guess is yeah, just I'm going to remove myself from this situation. Exactly, that's probably best. Yeah, man, gotta, okay. gotta, so gotta, we've decided that we're we're telling the husband. We're just like, listen, I I, I don't know that I got this yet. Found this yesterday. Not really sure what to do with it. I was really confused by it. I don't know what's up. I but. think that's the best best avenue. Is you is you got to go to the husband and just be like, hey. You know, talk to your friend. Like, yeah. like I don't know if, you know, are you cool with this? Because I think it's a little weird, you know, something like that. I mean, that. We, no one has, has taken her up on her theory about maybe he bought it for his girlfriend and they broke up and she, he Well, let him explain back, that. So then, yeah. Yeah, let him. Let, let, let him okay. defend himself. But he probably should have said that, like, hey, since we broke up, I, bought, I can't take this back. So maybe you can use it. Yay. <laughs> I mean, when do you, when, what do you do with it then? You're like, oh, great. So don't feel the need to send me pictures. Right, right. Um, wow, we we got an, we got another um, uh, listener message that said my boss gave me a Victoria's Secret gift card. Oh, freaked me out. So, yeah. like, does a gift card have the same meaning as actual lingerie? Well, the store, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's store. the store. Yeah, I mean, can't, well, too. but can't you get like candles and stuff at Victoria's Secret? Most often, you're buying lingerie. Uh, I mean, you could you could get shirts. Don't they have regular clothes at, at they have, Victoria's like, Secret? Sleepwear. Oh, sleepwear. All right. Well, that's and like yeah, all right. you know, I get it. sweats for college girls. <laughs> <laughs> I just really love the pink line. You know, yes, that has pink on the butt. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right. Well, if you think that uh, you wanted to share or whatever, and you couldn't get through, five zero two five seven one ninety nine seventy, or it's uh, posted up on Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show. But yeah, keep us posted. Let us know what happens. Because um, we're all invested in nosy. 